Yes, so with this video I'd like to go ahead and show you that in this world you're always given the idea of wonder and love, the tunnel of love, <laughs> the idea of the ticker tapes, right, the flags, the, um, the concern, the uh, wanting to know what's in there. All right, you see that there's the rest out there you can still do, but then what's in there, right? So then you look inside there, and then that is where then the the, the eye, the apple of the eye becomes the, de the deception, the fallen light, right? So what I wanted to do is then look back and then and look at the idea of the Sphinx, that hoax joke, over time, and I'm going to use the dates given this is 1572 right here and that is how the sphinx is represented as a head on a on a on a platter idea all right and then plateaus and not much else right later on you have the same idea but then with a much in in 1591 a lot more so-called little pyramids out there with a, with a few notable ones and then the Sphinx being nothing more than a head on a platter again. A few years later, things are changing. 1615 rolls around. You want to go ahead and you, you have a better idea. You decide, okay, we're going to do this motif. Well, hold the phone, didn't work out well. 1653 rolls around, you have this understanding. Now look very closely at this. Do you understand that that's Abel? That's the head of Abel, the head of the righteous on a platter. Then do you see that Nord or the North is, is actually pointing what you would consider to be South or flipped on its head, the hanging man, the anguished righteous man. Then that is then the idea of Abel calling out to have his, you know, to have to be avenged uh, from having Cain whacking him on the head, right? That's the original, that is then the, the idea of the, the good shepherd. So then 1665, you then see that the Sphinx is turned into a woman, but yet still a head and a torso. Noticing, check this out, at the dress of the so-called Egyptians, nothing like they would have you believe, anyway. Look at this. <clears throat> now it's it's becoming a the idea of a woman. Isn't that interesting? All right. 1665 again, showing you a different rendition or, or drawing shows you the Sphinx as being an idea of the the more feminine feminine now headdress, yet still being in this case what looks like the the European male face. And also then you have the idea of, of what looks like the city on the cloud, right? Then, uh, of course, 1698 rolls around and you want to get back to <laughs> this kind of motif. I like the, uh, yeah, let's do the, they had their own little culture going on type idea. And so then we have that in there. Mm, okay. 1724 rolls around. That's your 77 flipped. You have not only the idea of the Sphinx coming in just as being the, the, the head on the pike but you also have the full winged creature idea so then those combined hey no better idea than to combine them so then later on you have a 1755 roll around and you start to then bring in the idea of what you see now as this head in the desert that was buried in time buried by sand in time with the other you know attractions in the back and then this is then forward from here taken taken out and shown to you as being undug or, or, or uncovered. And of course all that is is they're just building it, you know, out of the sandstone. They've decided, hey, we can just make this attraction a little bit bigger. Alright. Now it's getting of course closer and you can see that they always they always make a story about how the nose falls off. The nose falls off because you're trying to you're trying you're trying to mold and and, and shape and hone very um, soft material. It just gave way and fell off, dude. That's the answer to that question.
Yeah, so by 1823, you, you see that the 14, the double seven, you see that they've gone from the idea of the spiritual into let's putting this into action, having an attraction, changing the, the, the design of the head to, to camouflage the idea that that's the anguished man or the, the fallen man the man on the plate, you know, at the at the the mercy of the world. And then the three pyramids, of course, then will then represent the, the fallen trinity. You can see what I've done here is I've just got, uh, aligned up two different angles of the same shot to, to show you just the depth, that it was just nothing more than dug out, out of sandstone, and and created into what appears to your eye as being the shape of a cat. And at the and the and they just kept adding to it as as they uncovered it. That was the construction of it. Do you see what I'm saying? They constructed it as they went. You can see that. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and twist the angle of this camera from from some other pictures I found, so that you can see it blends perfectly into the background. If you were standing there and you lopped the head off, you wouldn't even notice it. You would you would say that's just part of the hill. It's very hard to see because it is, in fact, part of the hill. It always has been, and it's, man, such a trick. So going back to this, you can see that this is a Masonic story, this 36-year Oxford mathematician, but it's it's interesting that they put it out because they added the, the fact that he said it was full of junk and that it had stucco. Now, stucco, again, goes back to me, goes back to the 17th uh, 1700s and the 17 1800s cathedral buildings with the stucco and that idea and it also shows that it was just not very well thought of it was more just as a afterthought because it was um, soot and and uh, blackness probably they had uh, from somebody burning fires in there you know it's just it was just junk it's not some revered treasure all right so this is then what you see if you're a modern day person walking up to the to the carnival attraction. You you're passing the lion. <laughs> right? The lion is turned on as you go up to the top as you you quite literally have to huff your way up to get lied to. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so you can see I've been showing you that this is the double seven code hoax throughout, but I'd like to show you the, the biggest hoax of all, and the announcement of the hoax is the Bonaparte hoax. So on the 14th of July, the triple seven right there, Bonaparte, <laughs> Bonaparte, all right, left Cairo for the pyramids, which are oblong cubes, being that they're six-sided, you can stand flat on top. Therefore, that is a representation of the cube or the 68. Anyways, moving forward, he intended to stay three to four days, which is again at your seven. Of course, he could not go because he had to go off to his hoax war. But then, of course, the other reason that he couldn't go inside and he never went inside was because they didn't exist yet. They were building them. That's the inside joke. Get it? So that would have been in the 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 eight seventeen hundreds, like I was saying, that that this construction would have been happening. All right. So I'd like to move forward and then just show you some more just perspective shots. Show you that even those those small little, little kind of stair step things are, are not that they're just small little things. They could have also been built by these these cats for all I know. They're, it doesn't matter. They're gibberish as well. Look at this next picture. You're going to see a truck next to them. They're very small. In fact, they may have just been built with side materials. Now, regardless, these things have never been proven to be anything more than just an eyesore, quite frankly. And in fact, they've never been proven to be anything more than a physical representation, an idea on, a f on the flat plane in a third dimension, a way to tell you a story, if you're willing to see it. All right, that's what that's about, All right? So then you can see the perspective here. You can see that that, 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 that truck, and then they, uh, it looks like very, I'm not going to say Budweiser, but it looks similar to it, like a, a concessions truck there. It's just nothing more than a carnival. You can see that this is nothing more than built into the into the, the, the sandstone or the, the what's known as the native rock. All right. I'm also going to show you a different angle and then take away that, that the head and show you that it's just you you would 
you would be hard pressed to to say that you're missing it if it went away all right and all I'm gonna do is just remove the head part and you're gonna see that it's just nothing more than built into the, the landscape giving the human animal and I'm only saying the human animal because that's how these people act they act like they're brainless they act like they have no they, they act you act like you don't have to know what's real you act as if you get to walk through life and you get to, to not know what's real and somebody else is going to do it for you and this nonsense goes on and on and on now I'm going to go ahead and remove the head big deal alright I'm just trying not to get overworked here I'm just saying man do you, do you see how easy this is so they manipulate man <laughs> they manipulate people into believing these uh, mythological stories alright they give you nothing but despair alright give you nothing but despair alright oh by the way just so you know Zahi Hawass that, that clown is Nassar man I've, I've told you that before he's the same character he played Nassar before he played um, Zahi Hawass it's always in the family it's always kept close this again you can tell is just the manufactured head stuck on top of, a, of an outcrop of natural stone and then they decided hey you know what we can expand this thing in the future and the problem is they got a little bit too big for their britches because if you look at what they did with the final product it's too big the head is, is the head doesn't fit so my my what what my um, assumption and this is purely an assumption is that they, they they messed up a couple times so that the head was getting a little bit too small and they're like dude you gotta really get it right this time and then the nose fell off and he's like alright just stop that's it we're staying with that that's what we're going with you know <laughs> bring in the tourists let them in the gate because it's not getting any better than this mm, yeah hey dude hey Papa, how you doing yeah, why don't we dig it down and uh, like sculpt a, a cat out of it? Oh, maybe make a sphinx out of it and, and make people think that it's a big cat? Yeah, why don't we do that? We can charge twice as much. Hey, there there you go. Why don't we just do that? Why don't we just go ahead and build a, a cat as we go out of it? And just like it's a big cat box. <laughs> oh, here's some native folks looking at it from the same exact angle. Do you see the problem there? It's all on the same plane, so I brought these little these guys on top to the plane for you so you can see that. They just dug down in dug into the earth and created a monster out of the natural sandstone. Yeah, dude, that's what happened. Well thanks, Paul. I mean you see that, right? Yeah. Well that's why they missed it the first time. They were looking in the wrong direction, man. It's it's to the left, guys. Yeah, guys, so uh, anyways, thanks for the show. Hey, Papa, thanks for showing up. What, what's going on? Well, yeah, I was just uh, getting about to do the rips. Okay, I'll join you. Cheers. Yeah, cheers, dude. So again, beware to not cast your pearls to the swine because they are undeserving. And also maybe get out of the way of the eights. This is nothing but a bunch of eights nonsense, a bunch of cattails, a bunch of lies in the sand, man. You're going to comb the desert? <laughs> You're going to comb the desert for the truth, huh? So anyways, enjoy the sandbox. You know what they call it? in video gaming, a sandbox is, is, a, is a world where you get to create your own adventure, friend. You know, so... Be your own guide. You know? <laughs> like, like big old Twinkie legs. I mean, give me a break now. Look like big old Twinkie legs. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> no, man. It's right to the left, aren't you?